Hi, YouTubers. Uh, okay, this is a, uh, a video on creatine, senior citizens, and asthma. Okay, if you like creatine or you'd like to try it, uh, but you're an older person and or you suffer from asthma, uh, this might help. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what to do. This is just what I've done. You know, I'm not like the President of the United States, you know, like, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose? I use it as a preventative, you know. I'm not, it's nothing like that, okay. Uh, this is just what I've done, okay. I love creatine, uh, but I was kind of abusing it without realizing it, just taking too much, and uh, having terrible problems with asthma, which I have solved. Um, I was coughing up a storm taking this stuff. Uh, it will trigger asthma, or it tends to, in people that have that problem, uh, which I've had, you know, most of my adult life. And uh, so I'm going to just start out just a little bit of information on creatine. And then I will show you what I did that actually corrected the asthma. Uh, just knocked it out of the ballpark. It's going to sound as goofy as anything that the president has recommended, if you've never heard of it before, which I hadn't. Okay, but just bear with me, because it, it worked for me. Again, I'm not telling you what to do, but even if you tried it, it probably wouldn't mess you up as much as taking hydroxy uh, chloroquine, <laughs> which would really hurt you. You know, that stuff was not designed to prevent anything, okay? Uh, to take it as a preventative, no doctor prescribes it as a preventative for anything. It, it's a malaria uh, a cure or treatment, and uh, the folks that have been treated with it for COVID-19 have uh, not done well. I think they've mostly died, so anyway, that's off topic. Uh, okay, I do not own any stock in this, okay, uh, as uh, the POTUS probably or uh, supposedly does in, in hydroxychloroquine. Uh, this just happens to be what I'm taking. Uh, it may not be uh, the purest form, which comes from Germany where they've done all the research. I might try that too. But it's pure creatine monohydrate, nothing added to it, okay, because uh, reports uh, are online, people have taken it with the uh, other stuff that they put in it, and the results aren't really that great. Um, okay. All you have to do to get the maximum benefit from it, and this particularly goes for seniors, okay, and this is one of those don't do as I do, do as I say, because I, as I say, I, I was taking too much of it and didn't realize it. Okay. All you need in order to get your creatine levels up to par, you know, up to uh, optimal within about three weeks' time, is take a teaspoonful. <laughs> this is a teaspoon, in case you don't know. This is a tablespoon, okay? That's a no-no. Don't do that, okay? If you're a senior citizen like me, I'm 72, you're probably getting up at night to pee already, okay? Creatine will put uh, a challenge on your, your kidneys, okay? It's, it, it really requires good kidneys. If you have kidney problems, I would say don't even take it at all. But anyway, a teaspoon, heaping or rounded, whatever you can get from the container <laughs> into your cup, uh, is, is all you need. That's five grams, one teaspoonful heaping, you know, not level, rounded, as much as you can get in a teaspoon, um, will uh, give you five grams of creatine. That's all you need. Try to eat something with it. It doesn't have to be starch. Uh, just it, it puts a burden on your stomach. It absorbs water and you're going to feel bloated if you take it on an empty stomach. Uh, hot water dissolves it better. And uh, if you do that within three weeks time, you're going to be optimal. Okay. The, uh, Keep in mind that what you're doing is creatine replacement therapy, according to a lot of experts, which means 
that your body notices you're getting it from the outside and it stops producing it automatically on its own. So if you suddenly stop taking it, uh, you're going to feel even worse than you did before you started. Uh, that's been anecdotally reported. Um, okay. That's about all I'll say. On, on, you, you, you can get a lot of other information on YouTube and elsewhere uh, on it. But um, for a senior, you definitely don't need to do that stacking thing, which I did. Uh, and it was just not necessary. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, even just taking the one heaping teaspoon a day, five grams, one heaping teaspoon equals five grams. I was getting horrible asthma, uh, coughing constantly. And uh, I, I found one website where they had 57 uh, fixes for asthma. And of course, all stuff that you consume, you know, uh, supplements. These are a few of the supplements I tried, and really none of them did anything. Okay, I'm sorry. That, that I can use. First of all, I've been using this stuff. If you can see that, uh, it's it's just guaifenesin. It's the same uh, active ingredient as mucinex. It's just a hell of a lot cheaper. It's uh, mucus Kirkland. Uh, I guess that's Costco, right? Mucus relief chest expectorant. It's immediate release. I've been using it for decades. I always have some on hand. But with the creatine, I didn't notice any help from it anymore at all. Although it had helped me like during a cold or flu or something like that. Um, so uh, this won't touch it. If you're taking creatine it's, and you have asthma, uh, it's going to, uh, it's not going to help. Okay, here are some of the things that I got from the recommendation for things that can help. This is horrible tasting. It's uh, pure anise extract. Okay, made by Watkins. It's supposed to be a real quality product. I think I got this uh, from <clears throat> uh, Swanson Vitamins. It's aside from the fact that it's just. I mean, you can't just take this mixed in water. It's horrible. Uh, choline is supposed to do a lot of nice things for you. Uh, I guess it does, but again, the cough just was there. Uh, here's another one. Th these are just samples of what I did. Uh, I, I, I went down that list, I don't know, about 12 or 15 things. Black seed is supposed to be dynamite for asthma. Didn't do jack and it tastes horrible. Um, okay, so then I found a website uh, where somebody recommended um, inhaling salt. And uh, not actually, you know, getting salt in your lungs, but salt air, salty air, salt fumes in effect. And uh, I bought this thing on, <laughs> on, uh, uh, well, uh, on Amazon, okay, Mockin's Salt Inhaler. It's literally a salt pipe. You put uh, uh, the large, uh, you know, coarse ground uh, crystals of uh, Himalaya pink salt in the bottom here, and then you supposedly are supposed to uh, inhale through this thing, um, and it doesn't work. Okay, I was disappointed, but I'll tell you what I did before. Anyway, uh, one uh, review on Amazon, uh, you can find it easily uh, under this product. The guy says he has to stick it down his throat in order to, you know, to get the benefits which uh, might be because they have air holes on the bottom here. If you can see this, air holes on the bottom. So what you're mostly inhaling is air. I'm not sure why they did it that way. I'm not sure if that's the reason, but that's mostly what you're inhaling, the way this, this thing works. Uh, maybe they were afraid of getting lawsuits if somebody got too much salt in their lungs. I don't know what the problem is. Anyway, save yourself the $16, $17 or whatever it was. Uh, it, it, okay. While I was waiting for this Mockin's salt inhaler, okay, I got impatient, and I had a thing of Morton's iodized salt. Probably, I'm not recommending this to anybody, but I did it, and so far, <laughs> uh, this is the quickest fix that I have found so far. It works faster, 
and longer lasting than anything else I tried. Okay, but it's probably not such a great idea because, uh, and I'm not doing that now. I'll show you what I'm doing now, but um, iodized salt, you're, you're inhaling iodine too, plus it's got, uh, uh, it's got calcium something in there. What, what has it got? Uh, uh, calcium silicate, I guess, an anti-caking agent, and dextrose and iodide. So it's probably not the greatest thing, but what I was doing was, <laughs> uh, come on, just opening that thing there and just uh, kind of doing like Andrew Wiles relaxing breath thing. You, you inhale for four, hold it in for eight, and let it out through your nose. You want to let it out through your nose for uh, a count of seven or something like that. It, it'll go uh, through your nose and through your sinuses, and it really does clear things out. You might get a slightly runny nose, but anyway... This is what I was doing with regular old Morton salt. And uh, as I say, that's the quickest fix and the most long lasting so far that I found, but I think it's probably not such a good idea, plus which, something that I didn't know, researching online, uh, this is not natural at all. It's made like in a lab, you know, unless it says like sea salt or all natural, something like that, um, you're getting a man-made chemical, which some people say is not really that good. Uh, as I say, when I first found out about this salt thing, I'll, sh I'll show you the the not quite final solution, but in the meantime, what I'm doing that is a lot safer, I'm sure, than uh, uh, inhaling uh, Morton salt with iodine and so forth. Um, check it out online. Uh, statistics show that guys that work in salt mines have significantly lower incidence of pulmonary problems. Okay. Uh, not so much like going to the beach and getting uh, humid salt air, but dry salt air, uh, salty air, salt fumes in dry air, <laughs> uh, really helps people with lung problems like asthma and prevents all kinds of bad stuff that, you know, the coal miners, that's the flip side, they get all kinds of things, terrible things. So, but salt, dry, salty air, which I, I was real skeptical. I thought this sounds like something that Trump would recommend, but it really does work for me, and I really do it. I don't believe that Trump is taking hydroxychloroquine, uh, but I really am taking salty air. Uh, here is what I'm doing right now. Uh, it's also Morton, but it's all natural uh, Himalaya uh, pink salt. Okay, uh, what does it say? All natural, pink salt. Now, this is the fine version that I'm getting, and occasionally I get a little bit, like, in my mouth. <laughs> um, a little bit. I, you know, I can kind of taste the saltiness. Um, whatever. It's got a shaker top here, and it's got a pour spout here. Okay, uh, here's the pour spout, all right? Yeah, you can see that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and I've got it down to, like, here like uh, down to here where it says calories. That's right about where I've got it. I poured some out so I, I don't get, you know, uh, salt in my mouth when I'm doing this. I'm, uh, I'm also going to order the coarse grind and see if that's any better or the same. Uh, I, or, I also, also ordered another bottle of this stuff and I'm gonna try again with the thing totally filled up, which I don't think is really necessary. But anyway, uh, this is all it is. You, you've got that little uh, pour spout, the full pour. And uh, just I pucker up, right? I create a kind of uh, vacuum there as much as possible. And uh, it's just um, something like this, you know. You let all the air out first. Don't breathe into this. You'll get humidity into that and it'll get all sticky or whatever. And you definitely want it to go out through your nose. It goes something like this.
You could just do that repeatedly while you're drinking your tea, watching television, or whatever. And uh, I can take creatine every day. I was coughing so bad that uh, uh, my partner, who I'm going to show you the effects of creatine on him, he's 75, I'm 72. Uh, I was coughing so bad uh, that he was complaining about it. He said I was annoying him. I was coughing constantly because I was doomed and determined that I was going to make creatine work for me. Okay, and again, I'm just taking one heaping teaspoon a day, period. That's it. Okay, my creatine levels are <clears throat> optimal. I've been doing this for months now. I don't cough anymore. The salt. I know it's crazy. I know it sounds like a Dr. Trump solution, but <clears throat> I'm not telling you what to do, okay? This is just me. This is what I did, okay? Call me crazy, okay? Uh, wh what I want to show you now is my partner. Uh, he is suffering from heart and brain problems. Uh, it's pretty serious stuff that he's going through, but it got to the point where he could not get out of a chair. Uh, without tremendous struggling. Uh, one time uh, I needed to get my boyfriend over here to, he's a, this big bear guy, and he lifted him up, uh, uh, you know, out of the chair. You know, I can't do that. You know, I'm just a little old man, a <laughs> geezer, you know, I can't do that. So anyway, he doesn't need that help anymore. He can get, this is not going to really impress you to see a 75-year-old man stand right up, but just keep in mind he couldn't do this before. Uh, he's been taking it for, I don't know, a couple of months now, like myself. And uh, what, it, what creatine does is it really does build up skeletal muscle. And it also helps the brain. He's got hydrocephalus, normal pressure, which kind of resembles Alzheimer's, but he's a lot more with it, with creatine. Again, this is just we're doing uh, what we're doing. I'm not. I'm not prescribing anything for you. Okay. That's to, you know. What have you got to lose? You know. No. No. I'm not going there. You know. I don't care whether you do it or not. But uh, but creatine is super helping him. Okay. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. But I would like you to see. But anyway, uh, I want you to see how the guy gets up on his own. So. Okay, still there? Great. Okay, just keep in mind, this is a 75-year-old man who could not get out of a chair or, a, you know, a low couch or whatever without help from somebody much more powerful than me. Terrible struggle for a while. Okay, now you watch him sit down and stand up. Not really impressive, except he couldn't do this before. He start, before he started taking creatine for a couple months. So check this out. Come on, Book. <laughs> Show him what you can do. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's sitting down now. Okay. Stand up. That was take one. Okay. That was take one. We didn't have to do take two or anything. That was it. Okay. That's what creatine can do. He couldn't do that before. I had to call my friend to come and lift him up. Right. So, <laughs> okay, Pookie. Th okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, um, okay, guys, that, that's it. Okay. Uh, you're on your own. Okay. Thanks for watching.